Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer channel episode and today I am coming at you with um, a tale of two halves I suppose. We have Meghan flying over from the US to join Prince Harry at Dusseldorf and we have the Princess of Wales with two fingers bandaged up so let's just get straight to it. Um, so I've got some information in front of me that I'm going to be reading about the Princess of Wales's engagement um, but I, what I do know, uh, and there has been some amazing, fantastic photographs and a little bit of video footage coming back from the princess's visit to a prison. So to preface what I'm probably going to read you in a moment, uh, we've had an SKP, we've had a fugitive escaped from prison in the United Kingdom only last week. And it took about four or five days for the police to capture this fugitive. So. Prisons and police security have been a big concern in the United Kingdom in all of our media recently. So when we had a visit coming up, a royal visit, I knew that security was going to be tight and I knew that they were probably going to make an example of security. Uh, so the Princess of Wales got security checked um, and she made a bit of a cheeky face uh, whilst having it done. So. Um, and yeah, she was definitely being, she wasn't being a diva. She did, she was not a diva. She didn't sort of, you know, pull a face. Oh, I'm, you know, I'm the princess of Wales and therefore you cannot search me. She didn't, you know, throw something at people as, um, some celebrities often do. Of course, royals are not celebrities. Royals are definitely not celebrities. Um, and the princess of Wales acted with dignity, uh, and humor. She found the fun in it. And of course she understands that this is something very topical in the United Kingdom at the moment. Um, so how did she injure her fingers? Those of you who may have noticed without reading any headlines, two of her fingers were kind of bandaged together with two little kind of straps. Just basic bandages, to be honest. They, they weren't anything fancy. Not for, not for Catherine. Um, she injured herself trampolining. Now, it's unsure whether or not she was trampolining to keep fit. I know in the past she has revealed and let slip that she trampolines to keep fit. Or was she doing it playing with the children in the garden? One cannot be entirely sure, but she did, there was a little statement released saying that she injured her fingers. Nothing broken though, so everything's fine. I think she must have just landed on them a bit funny and it probably feels better to have them strapped together so that they're not moving. I imagine she would have had some doctor's advice on that. So um, so yes, all is good in the Princess of Wales hood, I have to say. Um, just a few bandaged fingers. Um, let me know in the comment section, have you tried trampolining? I haven't tried trampolining for since school, basically. And I know it's become very popular for people to have trampolines at home, for children, for to keep fit, for fun. Uh, let me know your experiences of trampoline. I think I, I think I was quite, I remember being quite good on them, uh, but I haven't done them for a very long time. Um, so she was visiting a male prison today in Surrey, um, and she was searched physically and by a black Labrador. Now, of course, uh, the detection dogs are a big part of security in and out of prison. So she was, and of course, being patron of these charities, um, it made sense uh, to, to highlight that. Um, so the Black Labrador was called Penny and the security team checked her as she entered uh, HM, Her Maj His Mag, I keep wanting to say Her Majesty's Prison, it's not, it's His Majesty's Prison, high down. Um, a Kensington Palace spokesperson confirmed that the hurt finger, uh, were, in fact, they actually say finger, so maybe it wasn't both fingers, maybe it's just one finger but strapped together, were a small injury, nothing serious, adding that the princess had not broken anything. Well, that's good. So she was wearing Alexander McQueen. Um, now, of course, we know that Sarah Burton has stepped down from um, Alexander McQueen. Of course, it was Sarah Burton that designed her wedding dress. So a little bit of a nod I think, uh, to Sarah Burton's career at Alexander McQueen. Um, she went through the Category C prison entrance that welcomes 2,000 visitors a month. 
The princess was shown what Penny's reaction, Penny being the dog, uh, reaction is like when something is found on a person. She's patron of the addiction charity, The Forward Trust, and told staff, amazing, it's incredible, it's very calm and controlled, it's not intimidating. Well, that's good. So the visit comes ahead of Addiction Awareness Week. Of course, everything with the royals is done with a view in, you know, there's some kind of logic behind it. So it's Addiction Awareness Week in October, and she met serving prisoners who are receiving addiction support from the prison. The princess went on to visit the institution's award-winning restaurant, The Clink. <laughs> That's a, a quite an apt name, I think. I quite like that, The Clink, uh, that helps inmates become trained in hospitality, where she complimented staff on their delicious-looking food and met families working with the Forward Trust. It comes as Catherine's brother-in-law, Prince Harry, enjoyed watching Invictus game, game, Games events in Dusseldorf today as he prepares for his wife, Meghan, to join him later on. Well, she's already landed. This is a good segue into Meghan, I think. So Meghan was seen boarding a plane uh, at LAX and she was fairly dressed down. She's carrying a bag that had a very... Elizabeth II style headscarf. I mean, you know, I was half expecting her to kind of whip it on and, you know, be like like the Queen was when she was um, um, out out doing country pursuits. But no, the, it stayed firmly in the bag. She also had her, her hat. Is that a fedora, a white fedora, a cream fedora? I don't know my hats, um, but it looked like some kind of white hat that I'd seen her in before. She had very little makeup on, of course, traveling on a long flight. I don't think you really want to be doled up for the nines. There was a layover in Heathrow, London. I think she only spent two hours in the UK before meeting um, her connecting flight to Dusseldorf, where she will be involved uh, in the closing elements and the kind of wrapping up elements of the Invictus Games that Harry has been uh, a big part of this week. Of course, you know, the Invictus Games being his baby, that he set up whilst as a working royal. Um, of course, this was uh, something that could not be removed from him when leaving the royal family, when stepping back. When I say leaving the royal family, I mean stepping back from full-time royal duties. So it went with him, but it, it is, I should note, uh, and it is important to remember, that it was set up during his time as a full-time working royal, and it was partly funded by the Royal Foundation, of Prince William, um, of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, as they were, and Prince Harry at the time. So the Invictus Games does have very strong royal connections in its origins, very important to remember. Um, the Princess of Wales did look absolutely fantastic during this visit. Her hair, I mean, she'd definitely gone for kind of big, wavy locks. I thought she looked um, every inch the queen in waiting that I think she is. Um, she also wore a tribute necklace, a gold kind of tribute necklace to her children that had a, a G, an L and a C in it. Apparently it's £1,070. Personalised gold midnight moon necklace by Daniela Draper. Why do I want one? Why is it just because I've seen her? She's an influencer. She really is. Why is it now that I've seen that, I want to go and Google this designer and buy one with with my cat's names in. Molly, Rory and Bo. That's what I need. Um, so the theme of this year's Addiction Awareness Week is Everybody Knows Somebody, which aims to highlight the vast array of people across society who are affected by addiction. I think when we think about it, most people will have some kind of connection with somebody, whether it's someone they work with, you know, children or Somebody that you know that has some kind of struggle with addiction. And of course, addiction could be, you know, gambling, it could be substances, it could be anything. Lots of people can be addicted to different, could even be smoking. You know, lots of people have, this, it doesn't have to be something as big as substance misuse. It can be um, something like, like smoking or, or even, I mean, you can be addicted to chocolate and food and fizzy drinks and you know, every, everyone can find something in their lives, I'm sure, that they could probably say, hand on heart, that they might be addicted to. Um, so 
Catherine will shadow a family during a normal visit, starting with the security procedures that must be followed before visitors are allowed to enter the Category C prison. Well, we've kind of seen that. Uh, she will hear about the impact this has on families and will learn about the recent efforts uh, of HMP High Down has put into practice to make the experience more positive for children in particular. Uh, later, of course, this is, has all happened by now. Later, serving prisoners working with the Forward Trust will discuss with Catherine their experiences and the support they are receiving from the charity and prison. So it's all very worthwhile. And of course, a lot of royal work is about finding out and listening to people. And then sort of when you meet the right people, being able to pass that information on. So it is, uh, and also highlighting it in the media. I mean, the, the photographs, the videos, the articles, the videos um, of people commenting on the visit all help with the awareness. Um, so before leaving, she, as I said, she, she visited the Clink, an on-site restaurant which trains prisoners in hospitality. I think rehabilitation is a big important part of prison life, where she will meet the former prisoners and forward trust alumni. She'll speak to those who have worked with and volunteered. Uh, guests in attendance will be celebrating the concept that recovery is possible for all those struggling with an addiction in preparation for Addiction Awareness Week. Um, and of course, her experiences of work that she's already carried out uh, will be invaluable. She will be able to converse effectively with these people. She became patron of the Forward Trust in 2021 when the charity merged with Action on Addiction, which of course was one of her founding patronages in 2012. Um, and that's basically it from the engagement. As of making this video, we haven't had any official updates um, on the palace social medias. Um, so I'm just going off an article and some photos that I've seen. Going back to uh, Harry and Meghan, um, yeah, let me, know, let me know what you think ab about that. Obviously, Meghan has not been you know she, she hasn't been there all the way through this this is harry's baby and i think she did want to probably step back from that but also uh she didn't want to leave two small children for a long amount of time so in all fairness i can kind of understand that um we did see her though some paparazzi pictures of her weirdly at a drive through at an in and out burger now in the uk we don't have in and out burger. I'm sure it's lovely. I've heard people talk about it and say that it's lovely. Um, but it was weird. It was Backgrid again. Now, I know, I know Backgrid is an agency and lots of different photographers kind of go through them. I know all that. Uh, but it is kind of weird that, you know, sometimes <laughs> these paparazzi pictures, just the paparazzi just happen to be uh, at the, the same in and out burger that she's at. Coincidence? Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments. But one photograph was even from inside the in and out burger, probably over the counter, through the drive through And you can see her grinning face. Um, it was a grin as well. Um, maybe she was, maybe she really wanted those fries and the burger. I don't, I don't know what her order was. If you know what Megan's order was, do let me know. Um, but she was grinning. Again, no makeup. I think the message that she was trying to send was that, I, hey, I'm still here. I'm relatable. Uh, I go to In and Out Burger. I go to a drive-thru. Uh, even though she was kind of, you know, escorted by her big security detail um, with you know, the big gas guzzling SUV. Although it could be electric. To be fair, it could be electric. I don't know for sure that it is gas guzzling. So I will say that. Um, but I think the message that she was trying to put across was, hey, I'm relatable. I go to a drive-thru. Well, I don't think it was fooling many people, let's put it that way. Anyway, contrast that with Catherine today, who's actually doing real work that is really helping people. Um, I think, you know, you just cannot compare the two. Um, it's, yeah, words fail me. I, let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Right, I'm off. I've covered this story. I, there is a video set to go live tomorrow, and there is one set to go live on Friday. So do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and then hopefully YouTube will notify you when my videos become live. So thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. 
Don't forget to share on social media. And of course, do hit that bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me, to you all, and goodbye.